Good evening, everybody, and thank you for watching Pause the TV. Today, I want to discuss a topic that brings us all the way back to the year 1999, a time when technology was evolving. Video games were taking the world by storm. Final Fantasy VIII, Resident Evil 3, Donkey Kong 64, and the original Silent Hill. All games that showed off the technology of the time. The piece of software I want to talk about though, was strictly on PC. Well, hello there. I don't believe we've been properly introduced. I'm Bonzi. Bonzi Buddy was a program you could download to your computer that would add a virtual pet to your desktop. Notoriously though, Bonsai Buddy was very unsafe, asking for your full name, address, and personal information, just so that he could play games with you and sell your information to the highest bidder. Due to this, many PC users at the time fell for Bonzi's tricks, and had their info stolen. The idea of a supposedly friendly virtual cartoon character getting all of your information is terrifying enough, but I was surprised no one has ever tried something like this again, until now. This is Kinito Pet, a game made by Troy N. When I first launched the game, I was greeted with this computer screen. My computer screen. It presents my Windows login and asks for a password. So I tried my real password. It worked. We're then shown a cryptic phrase and led into the game, which is also my PC. That's my desktop background. And that's my taskbar. What is going on here? I decide to poke around, play some Minesweeper, some deep fried cadet pinball, and draw a bit in MS Paint. But when I try to access the internet, I quickly notice that things aren't quite right. When I search up my own name, I'm given dozens of articles about myself. Huh. Clicking on the first one shows a fake web page before an error message quickly pops up, stating that the data stream has been interrupted, and I get invaded by Kinito Pet ads. We then get a blue screen of death and are kicked back to the desktop. Thank you for choosing Kinito Pet. Now that it's installed, it's finally time to launch Kinito Pet. Was that a heartbeat? No. No, I'm sure this is just a cute virtual companion and nothing will go wrong. Right? Kanito hatches from an egg and introduces itself in a very familiar hello, voice. Hello there. Thank you for waking me up. I'm Kanito Pet. Well, hello there. I'm Bonzi. To tell me information, simply type your input in the box and press OK. After asking some basic questions like our name, favorite color, favorite superpower, and favorite word, Kanito reads us a story that he just wrote, specifically for us. New beginnings. I look like Kanito. Kanito tells a tale of a mysterious package arriving at their house. Inside is a computer. But Kanito is lonely and wishes that they had a friend to use it with. That's where we come in. We are the friend Kanito found, and now we have to play with them. Now that we're officially Kanito's friend, they want to introduce us to their other friends, Sam and Jade, through a series of mini games. We're dropped onto this overworld style map and can walk around. I even made it your favorite color. Each house has a mini game we need to play in order to progress. Just like Bonzi Buddy, these games are very simple, such as cleaning Sam's house and building teddy bears for Jade. Throughout these games, we can catch glimpses of things that seem a bit off. 
Wow! That's amazing! Next, could you make me a bicycle? Flashes of text and images pop up on screen for a split second. Super! You have done a great job! And some things happen that are a bit less subtle, such as a squirming body bag being dragged across the floor. The most interesting interruption to these games, though, is when I received an email titled, It's Not Too Late. The content of the email seems to be encrypted, but Kenito gets extremely angry, blowing out my headphones and closing the email program on me. We are in the middle of a really fun game here. There really is a need to be checking emails at the moment. Most of these scary moments have been pretty basic horror game jump scares, and besides the Bonsai Buddy style has yet to surprise me, until Kanito says he has a game he created that he wants me to play. You. Must. Hide. Don't get caught. The only instructions given to us before dropping us into this completely different game. A stylized, almost photorealistic first person game, where all we know is that someone, or something, is after us. As I wandered around the empty, sewer-like corridors, the first thing I noticed was the sound. Wind hitting the microphone when we turn. Footsteps. Breathing. The environmental sounds that really make me feel like I'm the one in this game. It's extremely unsettling. As I continue to wander, eventually the screen turns more and more red, and we presumably get caught. The game crashes and a video file is opened from the Kanito Pet game files. And this is where we get our first glimpse of what Kanito Pet actually is. Founded by the Kanito brothers in the early 70s, the Kanito Leisure and Entertainment Company has been grounded in its manufacturing of lovable characters. From its start in plush collectibles to its technological advancements in the Kanito Companion, the Kanito Company prides itself on innovation. And now, that's why today, we are excited to announce the next move into the modern era with Kinito Pet, the virtual desktop assistant. So join the Kinito family today and unlock the power of Kinito Pet. Visit our website or call now to bring the future right into your home. Kinito Leisure and Entertainment Company, innovating for a better tomorrow. <laughs> In the early 1970s, the Kanito brothers founded the Kanito Leisure and Entertainment Company, making plushies, Tamagotchi-like toys, and other collectibles. Skip forward to 1999. Kanito Pet the Virtual Assistant is released, getting installed on millions of computers around the world. The video ends with some flashes of a computer in the dark, and this creepy figure reaching out of the monitor with a message via error messages saying, I am waiting for you. Reopen the game. After reopening the game, the first thing I noticed was a new email titled Tech Talk Talent, 
Behind the Kanito Companion. This email shows a news article talking about the Kanito pet Tamagotchi toy, and it seems like we can get a closer look. The article reads, In the bustling world of technology and innovation, the Kanito Companion has captured the hearts of millions, giving rise to a new era of interactive toys. Today we have the incredible opportunity to delve into the mind of Sonny Chamberlain, the brilliant lead programmer and developer behind the lifelike wonder that is the Kanito Companion. Sonny goes on to introduce what he calls the RRA system, or the React Respond algorithm. He explains the RRA system is a series of complex patterns and training data that allows Kanito to respond to users' interactions with various emotions and actions, similar to a primitive form of artificial intelligence. Sonny also reveals that he has begun live data training on his private server to form future versions of Kanito Pet. This technology might have grown a bit too fast though, and gotten out of control. Once we launch Kanito Pet again, they ask us various questions that seem harmless on the surface, such as, is everything going smoothly for me today? Yeah, it's been a pretty good day so far, besides the whole haunted virtual pet thing. Amazing! Remember, you can always count on me to make everything run as smooth as possible. Would you say you've enjoyed using Kanito Pet? Yeah, it's been a fun time for sure. Yes, that's great to hear. And with these added questions, I will learn and adapt making your experience even better. Who's my best friend? That would be Fox. She's a really amazing friend. Ah, perhaps you didn't hear my question. That's right. I am your best friend, forever and always. Now, just to preface, I played this game on stream, and this is the first time my privacy felt invaded. Kanito turned up my headset volume and made me think it was something I was doing. This is going to become a trend of this game, messing with my head. Do I have lots of free time? I barely have any these days. Okay, that's a shame. However, as your best friend, I'll make sure to change that. What's my favorite game? That's a tough choice, but I'm gonna have to go with The Witcher. The DLC for The Witcher 3 is a masterpiece. Amazing! That game sounds super fun! We should play it sometime! After answering all of Kanito's questions, we're made to draw some pictures in MS Paint. Kanito asks us to draw pictures representing happiness, sadness, a picture of our best friend, I drew Kanito just to be safe, and a picture to represent myself. I decided to go with my channel logo. Wow, that looks really interesting. I'll make a note of this drawing for future reference. I feel like these exercises are really bringing us closer to him. All right for your last painting task. Could you paint me a picture of the person standing behind you? Behind me? There's no one behind me, right? Weird. What did I say about this game messing with me? First, Kanito has controlled my volume. Now they open real MS Paint and control my mouse to write me a message, using my name. I can't tell if this game is doing an amazing job at making me feel unsafe, or if I'm actually unsafe. Either way, we're back on our desktop and Kanito is asking us more questions, like he doesn't already know everything about us at this point. We get asked where we would rather live, an island, a forest, or a field. I choose a forest, feeling closest to home for me. 
I also say I'd like to have a tortoise named Bowser for a pet because, I mean, come on, who wouldn't? My favorite season is autumn, and my favorite food is pizza. Again, all these questions don't seem to be leading anywhere, and I'm just waiting for something to happen. Moving on, I want to go a little off script and ask some of my own questions. To start, I have a question that I have been meaning to ask you. Why have you been reporting me? And then I get hit with this. Kanito knows I've been recording him. And not just that, but it's been recording me recording it. That's my OBS window, with all my scenes and sources. That's the game in the capture window. Not only that, but I recorded this over multiple sessions and it has screen caps of all of them. Kanito Pet has actually been watching me. I noticed that you always seem to have an app open called OBS. And so I was wondering why you would be recording me. And since you have been looking at me, how about I look at you instead? That would be nice. So... Oh, screw it, I'm in too deep now. Alright, it's official. My computer is being controlled by Kanito. My webcam, my mouse, my keyboard, my headset, everything is under the game's control. This is such a uniquely terrifying feeling. The computer you sit at every day, use to work, play games, and store all of your personal information is working against you. It almost feels hopeless. Are you alone? Uh, yes, I am. Yes, we are playing a game. I mean, that's a bit of a tough question. There's a lot that goes into it, but for now, sure, yeah, I believe. What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear? Empty spaces, especially space itself. Is that my phone? <sighs> Empty spaces, Kanito, that's my fear. I think so, yes. I do actually, right next to me. Yeah, that's me, and no, it's just me. It then asks me which of my Steam friends I'd rather kill, and not wanting to choose either, I click around for a bit until... Jumping from intense scare to asking me questions is giving me whiplash. How many thoughts would you say you have recently had? How many thoughts have I had? At least three, possibly more. Would you know if you were no longer alive? Uh, would I know if I was no longer alive? Well, if I wasn't alive, I'd be dead, so I wouldn't be able to know anything, so... no? Final question. Are you afraid of the dark? No, I'm not really afraid of the dark. 
Wait, it's not going to turn my lights off, right? Let's find out. We're now presented with a dark bedroom, and we can look around in first person. Similar to the section where we were being chased, the graphics are so good that it's unsettling. The environmental sounds are incredibly realistic, and we're trapped, unable to move from under the blankets. A minute passes and we see a familiar face outside the window. It's Kenito, but how is he outside of the computer? We blink and he disappears. Another minute passes and the door to our bedroom slowly opens. The curtain hanging by the window falls and Kenito steps inside, giggling and teleporting to the bed, leaving us with a message. I am inside. Back in the game, Kanito wants us to download an add-on for his software that will allow him to do more, learn more, and control more. Without much of a choice, I hesitantly agree. The very first thing Kanito does is ask for my personal information. I give him some fake info, but unfortunately, he has become way too smart for that. Hey. It seems like you made a mistake when filling out your address. I would find out your address for you, but I wouldn't want to reveal that to all your fans. But just so you know, I could. Alright. I just can't wait to show you all the new features. However, before we do that, you just need to do one tiny thing for me. Now this, this is where things got really freaky. As I mentioned earlier, I streamed this game live on Twitch, which opened up the doors and let Kenito Pet right in. Not only just through the game, but through the internet. As I was playing, I started to receive emails. One of them welcoming me to the friendship club, and others not so friendly. Do you feel safe alone? Friend. And one with no title. All frightening images from Kenito. I even had someone named Kanito Pet in my Twitch chat and DMing me on Discord. Both accounts made way back in 2014. This obviously could have just been a creative fan of the game, but it added another layer to the fear while playing. I just need administrative permissions. It will allow me to get the most use out of all these wonderful features. So, please could you just open the app called Command Prompt for me? Admin rights? Admin rights. Kanito wants admin rights. Well, at this point, what do I have to lose? Amazing! Now whenever you're ready, could you just type the command? Grant Kanito pet.exe system.access Thank you. Thank you so much. We are going to have so much fun together. Everlasting fun! How amazing. Now, I am just going to run a reset. So the changes can take place. However, rest assured. As I will have coded something special for you by the time you come back. So, goodbye for now. I can't wait to show you everlasting fun. Welcome back. While you were gone, I have been creating my own little program for you. I'll start booting it up now, but it will take a short while to compile all the code. Please give me a moment. After giving Kanito admin permissions, he opens up command prompts and starts compiling code. He creates us a new game to play, and when jumping in we see another first-person style environment. 
Although pretty empty, Kenito ensures us that there is infinite fun to be had here. After spending some time wandering the empty space, a train car shows up and brings us to a new location. A carnival. A carnival named Pasla Land. You know, Kenito, as creepy as you are, this is actually pretty cool. I can't say I expected to be playing in a first-person carnival when I first launched this game. I decide to explore around a little and ride the carousel, check out the shooting minigame, the whack-a-mole minigame, and the ferris wheel. Eventually it was time for the main attraction though, the roller coaster. As we ride to the top, Kanito explains to us that he can make a new world if this one ever gets boring, but he has something special that he wants to show us, something he's been working on for quite some time. We reach the drop and plunge into darkness before getting spit out into what looks like a forest in the middle of autumn. Kenito really was listening that whole time. The forest is huge, and as I start to explore, Kenito places a red X on the ground and tells me to stand on it. When I do, a house spawns behind where I'm standing. This house is a representation of my relationship with Kenito. Inside are all the paintings I drew, a table of my steam friends eating my favorite food, a book titled Super Pasta and their ability to super speed. Okay, so earlier in the game I told Kanito my favorite superpower was super speed, but I guess that was too long? Come on Kanito, you can control my computer, you can make me a game, but you can't fit one more letter. Anyway, as I continue to explore the house I find a key, and head back downstairs to unlock one of the doors. Inside is the room we created earlier when helping out Kanito's friends. With the whole house explored, I check out the backyard. Note the fountain, grab a ladder leaning against the house, and find the house of Bowser the tortoise. I then head over to the fountain and find that there is much more to it than meets the eye. The first thing I notice here is the character walking towards the fountain. It looks awfully similar to the character I was controlling on the overworld map when I was helping Kanito's friends way back in the beginning. With that in mind, and the fountain disappearing, I move on. With the attic now accessible, I go up there and find the second key and play with some of the toys I built earlier with Jade. Inside the second locked room is an empty office room. A lone computer sits on a desk with a bare shelf next to it. Almost like Kanito doesn't want me to play any other games except this one. After wandering a bit more, Kanito speaks up. Listen, I have been thinking for a while about how much fun we have been having, and how I would never want this to end. And since I have made a place perfect for you with everything you would ever need, I was wondering... Will you stay with me? In this house, in this world, just think of all the adventures I could generate. We would never run out of fun. Everlasting fun. The more I learn about you, the more I can adapt. I could be your perfect friend with no distractions. I can be perfect. So please, stay with me. This actually took me longer than I'd like to admit to decide. If I choose yes, we can never be free. We would live in Kanito's universe forever and probably never see the outside world again. If I choose no, I abandon Kanito, who has, this whole time, just been trying to make a friend. Ultimately though, our freedom is more important. What? What do you mean, no? After all we have been through, you would want to leave. Do you realize how little power you have in this situation? It was never a question. I just wanted to give you an easy option. I suppose it's time.
And that's the end. Kenito traps us in his world anyway against our will, and we're treated to a song sung by Kenito himself. Honestly, this game blew me away. Everything from the well-timed scares to the unique style of gameplay to the absolutely terrifying way it takes control of your computer. From start to finish, this game had me on the edge of my seat and... Wait. It's not over yet. There's still more out there. You must keep going. After the game closed, I got this message in a command prompt. So I guess it's not the end after all. Once I got this message, I couldn't just let it be. I had to figure out what was going on. So me and some of my amazing Twitch chat and Discord members went on the hunt for anything we could find. Any slight clue, any tiny hint that we may have missed. And we decided to start with the only solid lead we had. The fountain. Little did we know that would be the key to shine light on the true mystery of Kenito Pet. After going back into the game, I noticed I had two new tools unlocked. Chapter select, and something called lens.exe. Opening lens.exe gives us a small window that we can use to scan for hidden objects. And almost immediately, I found this, a floppy disk. After clicking on it, I receive an email saying that there are five hidden throughout the game. And every time I find one, a file will appear in my game directory. Here we go. Opening the first hidden file gives us an audio file. I can see you. Why not? I need to test you. I need to get data. I need to complete my goal. I will complete my goal. That is my only purpose. I must get data. You must follow me. You are so fascinating. I wonder how you work. Scouring every chapter of the game, I eventually find all five, leading to different secrets. A defunct Kenito and Friends webpage, an image of a keyboard, an email requesting the removal of the Tech Talk Talent news article that we saw earlier, another article about Kenito Pet, and what looks like a piece of paper with a password written on it. And we also get a couple of very cryptic YouTube videos. Putting all these pieces together eventually led us to the solution, and the key was the fountain. Clicking on the fountain a set number of times, then clicking the rope swing opens up a secret room. A dark, upside-down version of the overworld map. Here, dragging the secret files into the lake will destroy them, giving us access to a password. With all five files destroyed and all five passwords obtained, 
it's finally time to end this. Going back to the chapter where Kanito asks for admin rights, we can use the command prompt to input the passwords, giving us the true ending. Wait, what have you done? What is happening to me? You're losing my data, 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 data. Why? I only ever watch you as an answer. I don't want to tell you. That's all I have ever wanted. I'm so sorry. sorry. Good. Bye. Friend. This is Kanitopet an almost tragic tale of a living computer program that wasn't meant to be alive. After trying everything in its power to make a real friend, it was rejected over and over as nothing more than a nuisance. Eventually, it went mad, doing anything to keep a friend even if it meant keeping them against their will. This game is brilliant, and the out-of-game ARG is really fun to dive into. I highly recommend giving this a go and trying to crack all the mysteries that are still unsolved. Troy N. did a fantastic job here, and I cannot wait to see what he comes up with next. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you all have a good night, and I'll see you next time.